kind of going off that. So mm -hmm. say we give them the turn your footing cue and it works. Mm -hmm. How can such a small like cue or change create such like a huge influence? So you're literally changing how you manage internal external forces and stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? So so welcome to the world of complexity. So so you, I know you have read about this, right? So we can have a little chat about about how this this works, right? So one of the things that we know about complex systems is a very small influence can have a, a very high magnitude change or a very high magnitude influence could have a very small change or no change, right? And so this, is, this can be one of those cases where literally this is the limiting factor and all I need to do is make this one tiny adjustment and now I can stack a bunch of weight on top of that axial skeleton, whereas that little leak, that little power drain, if you will, um, was just enough to just totally drop the threshold of capability. So, so this is just one of those things about being a complex system, but um, that I think that, you know, you keep this strategy as simple as possible for the greatest influence. And then you sort of work up from there. I think that's the easiest way to do what we do, especially with, with the fitness related clients. Um, I don't think we have to get too wild and crazy. I don't think we have to turn them into um, rehab clients. Um, you know, we don't have to treat them like they're broken. It's just like, okay, this is what you're capable of. And again, we're going back to this minimal viable performance. It's like, okay, how good can you be today? You know, I, if, if my goal is to squat 300 pounds and I can only squat 200 pounds, I, I don't try to coach somebody into a 300 pound squat knowing full well they don't have the capabilities. I develop those capabilities over time. Why is movement any different from any of those other, other abilities that we're chasing in the gym, whether it be endurance or strength or power or whatever you want to call it? You know, and I think that sometimes we get a little carried away and we make it harder than it needs to be. It's funny you say that because one of my clients was deadlifting the other day and just didn't look good. And I literally just gave him a compliment. It's like, oh, like, looks like you're working really hard or something. And everything just like cleaned up. Didn't yeah. coach him, didn't do anything. So is that could be just like one of the small influences just change everything. So, so uncertainty drives a certain, certain physical pattern, right? And you gave him um, a reinforcement and you changed his state, you know, who knows what happened, right? We can sit here and have a great discussion over drinks of, and, and theorize about all the amazing aspects of the brain um, and not knowing anything about what happened. We just know that, okay, that was good. So next time this guy comes in, I kind of know how I need to interact to, to get a more favorable outcome, you know? And I'm okay with that.